Welcome back students. Um, so in this video, uh, we'll talk about um, and do some practical coding uh, using the uh, Hansen um, uh, Global Force data. And uh, we'll use the tree cover data and then um, import it, uh, clip it by global um, administrative boundary, uh, shape file, and uh, finally display it on the um, code editor playground let's get started so first i'll import uh the data uh countries um countries database so i'll create a variable called countries and um i will um use uh Earth engine feature collection to import that data and i'll need to provide the feature collection id which is us dos uh, slash lns p simple and then the year is 27 so i've already i already know this data um, you can find this data on the um, google earth engine api for example google earth engine if you type in here go to google earth engine data uh, and then data sets here and then if you click here uh, for example if you browse by tag uh, and type in um, us dos so you can find this exact uh, same data which i'm using okay so that's how i got uh, this uh, this <coughs> feature feature collection for countries boundary okay and the next uh, step is to uh, actually uh, import the Matt Hansen um, the global forest data, which is a very popular data for forest mapping. Uh, so let's create a variable. Um, and I'll call it tree cover. And assign Earth engine image. So I'll assign the specific um, the specific uh, uh, image um, ID for this data. Uh, so it's Hansen Global Forest Change 2014 and. That will import the the Hansen global force data here and the next step is to actually display the data so I'll call this um, data here and clip it by countries And then I'll specify the different bands that I'll be using in this uh, visualization. And then I'll create a list of um, bands. In this case, I'll use a uh, tree cover. And the specific year is 2014. Actually, 2000. and palette so i'll provide some color um, color coding so that i can visualize my um, my forest uh, tree cover data and the other color is uh, green a deep green and the last thing is to um, actually define some uh, maximum um, value. In this case, it's uh, 100. I'll uh, close the curly bracket and I'll just uh, give uh, my layer a name so that I remember it when I look at it on the dashboard here. And that would close the, the um, map display statement and the next uh, map display statement is actually importing the global administrative boundary data and 
um, we have to fix this typo here. And then, um, so in this case, I'll um, create an um, image, an empty image, and then uh, paint, and then pull the country's data here. This is the administrative, so we'll um, technically map the global administrative um, administrative boundaries for all countries. And then I'll provide um, some um, size for, for that. And lastly, I'll need to provide some color codes for that mapping. And then I'll open a bracket and I'll just, um, that's just one color, so it should be fine. And then the last thing is I'll just name uh, my um, um, my country's boundary just the name. This is the layer that I'm mapping. So I'll provide this naming. And lastly, again, uh, I'll just create some center object. Um, tree cover. So, okay, uh, let's execute our code here finally and then execute here. I'll click run to execute my code here. And then let me visualize what's going on here. So I have two layers here. So the first layer is the country's boundary. So I map it, um, the boundary for all countries of the world so that I know um, what, what country I'm in uh, when I visualize the first data. Let me actually just um, check it off. Uh, and so this is the um, tree cover, the percentage of tree cover for any place on Earth um, using the Hansen data. Um, so here in this case, um, most of the uh, areas that have deep um, green are high, uh, you know, tree cover. If you look at the Congo Basin and the Amazon forest and, and, and things like that. And um, the dark area are areas where they, they don't have the less tree cover uh, percentage. And you can also um, inspect the, you know, use the inspector here to, um, you know, uh, check the values for the, um, the, the tree cover, right? So here, for example, tree cover 2000, if you look at here, it's uh, two pretty low. Uh, and then if you look at here the Congo Basin, it's almost 100 percent, 99 percent. So you can see that, that this area, the green, deep green area, has uh, pretty much um, dense forest cover, whereas some of the uh, you know uh, arid area or dry area, um, uh, you know, look at you know Somalia or Eastern Ethiopia, pretty dry area. So you you know the forest cover there. If you just check here, it's only zero percent. So, um, so, and, 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 and this is um, pretty um, useful data and it's a global data, it's for all countries. And uh, that's how you uh, map force cover using the Hansen data on the Erzingen API.